A spinal fluid leak is a treatable, fixable condition in which the bag of fluid that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord can develop a leak. And when it develops a leak, when it first happens, people develop a constellation of symptoms that are very recognizable. You get a headache that feels worse when you're up and much better when you're flat. You develop neck pain and stiffness, nausea and vomiting, ringing in the ears, dizziness, some visual disturbances, and then a constellation, occasionally, of some other strange symptoms like a funny smell in your nose or a funny taste in your mouth or a uh, patchy numbness in your face or other parts of your body and quite often fatigue as well. And um, while it is very recognizable when it first happens because of those unique characteristics of the headache where it's better when you're flat and it's much worse when you're upright, as, uh, as the leak becomes chronic and things inside your neck and your head become somewhat inflamed, it stops having those clear boundaries and those clear symptoms. And so you have to be flat longer to feel better. And you have to be up longer to notice that you're feeling worse. And so often there's a, a syndrome where you wake up and sometimes when you wake up after being flat for a number of hours, you're better. And then uh, things are often worse uh, after you've been upright for a long period of time. Uh, so late in the school day might be a time when you'd be at your worst and at your best would be when you were uh, waking up in the morning or you'd had a chance to go home and lie down for a few hours. The, uh, there is no 100% diagnostic test to tell you if you are leaking or if you are not leaking. When an MRI or a CT myelogram shows a leak, you can be pretty confident it's there. But when it doesn't show a leak, you can't be confident that one's not there because if the leak is not contained, then you may not see evidence of the leak. And, uh, and the real test, if you're listening to this or watching this and you wanna know if your symptoms could be from a leak, the test that you need to do, and you need to do this before you go talk to your doctor about it, is you need to spend 24 to 48 hours staying horizontal, lying down in bed. You can be on your back or on your side, but you gotta be horizontal. And the only time you get out of bed is to go to the bathroom, then you get right back to being horizontal. And if at the end of that 24 or 48 hours, you feel the best that you felt in months, then you're probably leaking. And at the very least, there's enough of a suspicion that you're leaking that you should go to a referral center to be evaluated. And uh, if your doctor wants to learn more about that, they can contact me here at the Stanford Pain Clinic. And if you want to come see us, you can come see us here. And uh, not everybody can come from all over the country to see us, but we're starting to keep a, a list of people organized by state so that when we have four or five or ten people in a given state who have good stories for a leak, we can identify someone in that location as uh, someone that we're going to target to educate and teach how to evaluate and treat this. So uh, if what you've heard today describes you, don't give up because we're out here and we're trying to help.